recording. Uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. Oh, let's go. There we go. Um, so we're going to go into desk, my CV desk, um, and you guys were on the meeting this morning, so you already know that you can move these around and how to search for them. Um, so we're going to just jump right into Prospect Square. So once we've gotten into Prospect Square, we've gotten our profile set up, we've dropped some contacts in, made some groups, added some reports. Um, what do we do with them? is really is really the question in addition to sending them to our prospects sending them to our clients um, looking like the area expert what are some other ways some out of the box ways that we can take these reports and do something um, something with them and this is taking its good old time so we're just going to go right into it again um, so there are multiple different functions of your prospect square reports. Um, one function is to have them on your website. Um, so I did show this a, a little bit earlier. Um, I have mine shown through um, sections on my website. I kind of went in and redid mine. I wasn't able to um the functionality is glitching out to actually hyperlink a photo so i wanted to make it cohesive and look like you know here's a report click here to get it um, i do want to update my my photos i do use all stock imagery so please don't ever go to google and just google a photo and use it i've worked with a few agents that have had copyright infringement and that is not a fun time um so, you know, you can click through, you can get through. This is just a cell phone picture I took, um, but you can click through and get that information for my area report. Um, I like this because instead of going into desk, going into prospect square, I need to get my report. I'm going to go in and find my area report. I'm going to go to preview and share. Um, and then I'm going to find the report. So let's say I wanted to do, um, you know, Baltimore County, do Baltimore County, and then hit search. And then now I found Baltimore County. I can hit this preview page and share to Facebook, share here, print to PDF. But really, this is where I'm going to get the link for that specific, um, for that specific area report now if i want to just go in and share it to facebook i have to do all those steps or i can just go to my own website scroll to the bottom and click the button click facebook um, once you have clicked onto the report and clicked the facebook button um, you're able to go in and share on a page that you manage um, and you can type something here about your report and hit post to facebook and you have some great Facebook content there available for you. Um, also, let's see. I can't get that bar to go away, so that's all right. Um, also, I can take this information here. Um, when I do come into the system, I can copy this link. Or if I've clicked on the specific report that I want to use, I can just click this link here as well and very easily can go to Facebook and I can set that up on a schedule. Um, so I can go to my business page and on the left hand menu bar, sometimes I have to scroll down to find it. There is a publishing tool. Um, now you'll see I had something that was scheduled to come out that came out four minutes ago. I wasn't on Facebook four minutes ago. I was talking to everyone in this class, uh, but you can see that it came out on my Facebook. It looks like I'm, you know, on Facebook doing things. So I probably don't want to post this immediately, uh, but I'm going to go into publishing tools. And I'm going to click on scheduled posts um, that's going to show me anything that I already have in the queue that that Facebook is is holding on to. I do a quote of the day every morning, um, but I'm going to create the post. And then I'm just going to paste this particular link in there. It's going to fetch the preview. Um, so here's my preview that photo that I have on my report. This is for Carroll County. It's an area report for January. 
Um, and that's where I can say, um, check out um, what's new in the uh, Carroll County real estate market. If you would like sent to you auto. So basically sent to you automatically each month. Um, you know, please let me know. I can send you a report for your specific area. It's just letting them know maybe they're not Carroll County. Maybe they're Baltimore, maybe they're Frederick or Cecil or Hartford or anywhere in between, maybe in the city. Um, and they want information about where they live. Or maybe they contact me and they say, look, I don't want the whole county. Like, can you just give me Towson? Can you just give me Bel Air? Can you just give me you know, this specific area? Um, yes, yes, I can do that. Let me set that up for you. Um, you know, what area do you prefer? What area would you like? Um, it, but in order for me to set them up on this, I have to have their email. Like, they have to give me their email for that. Um, so when I'm setting that up, I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to hit schedule post. Um, what that's going to do on Facebook is it's going to give me um, the option. Let's make that a little bigger. Um, the option to choose the date and the time that I would like that to pop out on Facebook on my behalf. Um, now, remember, if I'm scheduling, it doesn't mean I don't have to be on Facebook. I don't even have to be logged in. Um, and it's going to automatically, basically, Facebook is going to hold this. And at that time, it's going to let go. It's going to release it. It's going to go public. Um, and it's going to publish that ad for me. So maybe I want this to come out tomorrow. And let's say 331 is fine with me. When I schedule, I tend to schedule on off times like this because I don't want someone to go back through my Facebook page and see, um, you know, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I don't want it to look robotic. So I always pick kind of an off time for it to post. Excuse me, sorry. Um, and then I'm just going to hit schedule. Once I do that, this is going to go away. Um, and it's not going to pop right up. So I've had agents that said, well, wait a minute, where did it go? Um, the best way to refresh this page, if I click the refresh button up here, it's just going to take me to my published posts. Um, and I'm going to have to wait for the screen to catch up to itself and refresh. Um, so I'm just going to click on publish and I'm going to click on scheduled. And now it's going to it's going to revert back and I can click on this. And I can get this post preview and I can see exactly what this is going to look like when it comes out on my Facebook page. So if I don't like the verbiage here, if I want to update that, I can edit my post. Or if I realize I inadvertently did not write down when I was going to have something coming out on my page and it's coming out at a similar time um, or close to another um another post i can reschedule um and i can change that time anytime that i need to um and i would just go in again action excuse me actions reschedule um choose the date choose the time i i can update that as i want um the both the hour and the minute and a.m or p.m um and just reschedule that and that will update it here now my best practice is I do have a small calendar next to me um, and a little notebook that I open up whenever I schedule something on Facebook. I try to do a bunch of them at a time, um, whether they're brand surf tiles or something else. Um, you can see here I just have a whole bunch of, of things scheduled to come out. Um, and once I do that, um, like I said, it's just going to post to to Facebook for me. Um, it, it's not going to be anything that I need to do. Most of the stuff that's on here was was just put in, in the background, especially the brand serve tiles. I go in and I schedule all of that. Um, so you can schedule these area reports. Maybe you have a calendar. Maybe you want a county report to come out on Mondays. So maybe one day it's it's Baltimore County. The next day it's Harford County or if you work in any of the other counties or the city. So maybe each Monday you have a different county that comes out. 
Um, and then you can go through and schedule some of the more definitive as well. So when we go into Prospect Square, I can also go in um, to my area report, to my preview and share, and I can go through and look for specific neighborhoods that I work in. Um, you can share any neighborhood that you buy or sell in. You don't have to be in that office. Um, you know, I work with agents in the Beller office that go to Annapolis, agents in Frederick that have sold in Cecil County. Um, so really anywhere that you are willing to drive to. And of course, we know if I don't want to go to Lutherville Timonium, I'm just not going to post it. Um, but I can go in and pick any of these again, just copy um this particular this particular link and go to that facebook um go to your facebook page it doesn't like me today um go to your facebook page and um you want to go into that um that scheduling um to be able to go in and um just post you know as you want and really you can post up to I think it's about a month and a half in advance. So don't panic. Um, I had somebody the other day that that called me in a panic, went to create the post. She had a, an extensive list here. So you do have to have something to post before you can schedule it. Um, but you'll see here now it's coming out with Lutherville Timonium. Um, I've had agents ask me, it, there's no way to change it to Lutherville. There's no way to change it to just Timonium. It, it just comes out that way. Uh, but when you schedule that post um, to come out, um, just don't, just make sure that you're not, again, scheduling, you know, when you have another, another thing coming out. Um, and we don't want to check this button. So if you stop showing it in the news feed, um, the post will be visible on your page, but it won't be visible in the news feed. And I really don't see an advantage to that because I want it out in the newsfeed. I want people to see it. If they haven't even come to my page, I want it to just come to them in, in that newsfeed um, so that they can see it. And I've put it in here. And when I go to schedule that post, um, you'll see that once I hit this calendar, I can only go so far in the future, so I can go up to May 4th. That's as far in the future as I can post. Um, so if I want to go in and I want to grab March and April and the holidays and I want to post all those, I can do that. Um, you know, maybe I want this to come out on the 4th of every month. If I want to do that, I can go in and I can schedule this separately. Um, and I can go in and schedule this for March 4th. I can schedule it for April 4th. I can schedule it for May 4th, but then I can't go past that. Um, so maybe it's like the 4th of every month is when this particular... And, and honestly, I don't know if anybody will notice if you do that, unless they're really following your page, um, you know, or maybe you say, hey, it's the fourth, you know, fourth Tuesday of the month. It's time to look at what's going on in Timonium. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the thing that draws people back to your page. Oh, wait, I got to go look again because they're going to update it. Hey, look, it's the updated the updated one, in which case for mine, it would always have to be after the fifth of the month because that's when the newest one comes out. So just be um, just be cognizant of that as well, that these are updated on the fifth of the month. Um, so if I'm going to push this out and I'm going to schedule this post um, for next month, I probably want to do it maybe on the sixth or beyond. Um, and again, maybe I maybe I don't want to say anything. Maybe I just want to go in there and post some of them. I want to get them in there. I want to think about what I want to say later. Um, you can do that as well. I like to type on there when I'm posting it or scheduling it because I will forget to go back into it at a later time um, to do something. So I'm just going to relive that so we're not we're not waiting forever for it. Um, but just know that this does give you content. Um, I refreshed it. So, oh, no, nope, it is in there. Um, so you can see here, here it is again. And again, I can go in later. I can edit this post. I can type something here if I want, uh, but I don't have to. And another thing that you're able to do in here. So I had someone that said, well, I don't want a whole bunch of these to come out on my page. They all have the same photo. Like, that's not fun. If you want to put a little more extra time in it, 
Um, one agent that I sit with, she goes in and she schedules them for this week. And if they look the same, they look the same. She goes into Prospect Square, into her report settings, into her little pencil, into the area report, and she changes the photo every week. Um, so every time they come out, they come out different. I have some agents that like the fact that they're coming out the same. You know, they don't push too many of them out, so they want them to be easily recognizable. Um, you know, so that is an option that you have as well. Another option that you'll have, you'll see, I do have them on my website. Um, I like having them on my website. I can hand somebody my business card. I can let them know, hey, you know what? You can get area information. Go to the bottom of my website. You're going to find that information that you need. If you don't find what you need, let me know. Like, I'm here to help you. That's what I'm here for. Um, some other agents as well um, that have them on their pages. So I know Sandy has them on her page. Um, we have them. And these are just Canva bubbles. This is something that I can definitely help you with. Um, I love Canva. If you're not into Canva, or you're wondering how do I get these pictures? They're kind of fancy. How do I get them on my website? That's something that we can do together if you're not comfortable putting them on yourself. Definitely know that I, I'm here to help you. Um, Sandy is actually hyperlinked the photo. Mine does not allow me to do that. I don't know if it's because I'm an employee, um, but you can click right on there. She's got quarterly reports. Um, you know, she's got a different photo on hers than I do on mine. That's okay. She's got her info there. Um, probably do want to go back in and add your office number um, just in case, you know, somebody pulls that up. They also have that as well. Um, but you'll see all of the statistics for the last quarter for Harford County. Um, now, this is nice as well because she does have some verbiage here. That, you know, if you're looking for, you know, this complements the area report. This just gives you a broader, a broader look at the real estate market. This text here came directly from Prospect Square. So you'll notice that when you go into Prospect Square, you do a preview and share. Um, and you go in and you look at something. It's blank right here. It doesn't have any verbiage at all because the system doesn't know who you're sending it to. They don't they don't want to misconstrue anything. They don't want to say, "Hey, by the way," but if you have set one up, you can set one up to send it to yourself. Uh, once you hit that preview button, you're going to get this verbiage here. You can literally just go in and copy that. You can put that on your website or you can just, you know, put that on your website and kind of reword it re word it so that it goes with your own um your own narrative it sounds authentic it sounds like you um but really it lets people know the graphs cover you know different aspects of the real estate market you can notice the graphs do break out trends by price increments because everybody wants to know price um you know and contact me if you want more information on your current market so you know we can get more specific maybe this is going to lead somebody to say hey you know you gave me Hartford County, but can you give me Bel Air? Can you give me Faustin? Or, you know, you gave me Baltimore County. I was really looking for Towson. Or, you know, maybe they live in Mace Chapel and they, hey, can you even break it down even further? Well, yeah, you can send them a market report. Uh, but they have to give you their email address. Um, so that's another feature that kind of helps you to get that information. Another Excuse thing me. that you're able to sure. um, you said I should add my um, office mm -hmm. phone number. Do I need to go into my website to do that so or? That'll be in Prospect Square. Okay. Um, so actually here, There's let me. Profile or something. Yeah, okay. let's actually walk through that. Um, so if you're looking at it and there's ever any time that you wanna change your profile, um, when you click through to Prospect Square, I'm gonna go in now as an admin. Um, which you won't have that feature. That's okay. Um, and then I'm going to go in as an agent. Let's see if, how long it's going to take the system to catch up to me. Come on, I know you can do it. Oh, there we go. Um, and then I can find you. I'm getting all kinds of stuff done today. I put some testimonials on my website from, from your instructions from the last class. 
Cool. I love testimonials. They're one of they're one of well, my favorites. I didn't know how to get them from Zillow to there, so no, no. They they made it a lot more streamlined, <laughs> which is good. Yeah. So if you're opening your 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 reports and you're like, hey, maybe something's missing, or I want to add something, or it just doesn't look like enough information for me, uh, you're just gonna go on a prospect square. You're gonna click on my profile. Um, it's gonna pop up. And you're going to see some of it's going to come automatically through from Trident. Um, so it came from Trident. It's got your email. I always kind of go in and just kind of put it in again. You can still use the CB move. You can use the CB realty if you want. Um, you can do um, realtor. I don't think my little nope, my little shortcut isn't going to work. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I have a shortcut saved, but you can Google the registered symbol. Um, you can just copy it. I'm just going to copy it and paste it. Um, sometimes you can do control alt and R uh, for the pop up menu. It, it doesn't ever usually work. Um, and then here's where you're able to add your office number. Um, and I would say, you know, we do have to have any time that we have our, our phone number or our self, um, like our cell phone or our home office um, and our email address or one or the other even if it's just our email um, we're supposed to have our office number included with that information as well now if they're already on your website they're going to have that information um, but if i'm sending this out to a client i want to make sure that my marketing has that included just so that if by any reason for for any reason at all the maryland real estate commission sees it i have checked off that box um, for for their marketing rule um, and if you're interested in where to um, where to find that, um, the Maryland Department of Labor, um, it does say um, if you use an individual telephone number or email address in your advertising, you must also include the advertisement, the identified, basically the labeled telephone number of your broker or branch office manager. So basically your office. Um, so just wanted to show that to you. I, I really didn't make that up, I promise. Um, that's their rule. From what I was told, it stemmed from just a very unhappy client. They couldn't get through to an agent, wasn't sure how to get through to the office to call the manager to talk to them. Um, so they popped that in and now that's the rule. Um, so we'll put that in there. You have your photo in there. Um, any social media that you do for business, you can pop in here. If you want to have all of the little icons, um, I've cheated the system drastically. Um, I have all of the little icons. I don't tweet for business. I don't do Instagram for business. I don't have a YouTube channel for real estate or Pinterest or blogging. If you click on any of these, it's just going to take you to Coldwell Banker uh, because I just wanted to have all the little icons. So just know that you're able to do that. If you're unsure what the Coldwell Banker handles are or what those websites are, you can find them in desk. If you go to marketing um, and you go to social media, you're going to find them on that left hand bar and down at the bottom. We have all of our social media networks linked. If you click LinkedIn, you're just going to get to the Caldwell Banker LinkedIn. Um, I would highly suggest the only two that I utilize in my profile that are 100% always mine are Facebook and LinkedIn. The business, my business Facebook, my LinkedIn are always mine. I use Coldwell Banker Pinterest, Instagram. I don't know too many people that use Snapchat for real estate. Um, if you do, have at it. Um, you know, YouTube and the blog, I use the Blue Matter blog, but you can go in. You don't have to if you don't want those things on there. That's OK, too. Just just throwing that out there. Um, you can add the extra information here if you want to. Um, it's it's not necessary. And then the minute that you save and close, that's going to update your particular record. Um, so we'll see here now when I go back to Sandy's page. I'm just going to go ahead. I don't think that I need to refresh, but I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And then once I click on that Baltimore County report, it's automatically there. She's got her title. She's got her phone number. She's got her email and her website. And these are interactive. I can click on this. And when I click to email her, I can send her my name, 
my phone number, my email address. Hi, Sandy. This is a test. Um, and they can email you and ask you information, get your information, and I'm going to send that email through. Um, and that'll your office information will pop up, uh, but it's going to send it through to that real estate report. Or I can click the link and I can just go right to Sandy's website. Um, so that's another powerful tool to get people to visit, you know, visit your website. If this is something that's been posted on Facebook, somebody can scroll down, they can click, um, they can get, you know, if they're on your website even and they click through, now I can go and I can also get to Sandy's Facebook page. So I'm finding you every which way that there is. Um, it's just giving me your information. It's letting me access you on different levels, find out more information about you, and get some really good information. Um, so, you know, if I'm in Baltimore County and I want some information about Baltimore County, um, I can do that. I can call Sandy. I can say, hey, you know, I've noticed that the average days on the market has gone down um, and the sales price has, you know, the sold price has gone up. I want to sell my house, um, you know, can can we do that? And then that's the opportunity that you have to turn that prospect into a client. Um, so that's really that's really good as well. Um, so another option that you have in addition to that is on your community's pages. Um, so in your local communities, communities, whatever you have named that I've re I've relabeled mine. Um, so I have a lot of extra information on the top, but here is where I also have a lot of information about communities because um, the agents that I work with, you guys are scattered just all over the place. Um, so when you click through to any of these, you have the opportunity to add additional information. Um, you can add a photo, you can add some information about the area, Hyperlinks do help you in a search engine optimization because you're sending people a lot of extra information. I've got some organizations, Wikipedia for the history, um, just because Joptown in, in and of itself was the original port of Baltimore and also won one of the major um, battles in the American Revolution. Most people don't know that. I live here, so that's why I know. Um, discover job of businesses, local schools. I just send a great schools.org. Uh, but here you'll see I have an area report. So for anybody that went to the Moxie class and saw the iframes, same thing. So I've used an iframe. I've literally taken my report. I've put it on my my website. I do need to make that a little probably a little bit wider, um, but I've put it on my website. You don't have to use the frame. Uh, you can remove the frame, um, but you can take that. You, that's something that we can do together. This is something I just learned how to do, so I was very excited. Um, and again, it's going to take you down. It's always going to have that little disclaimer there on the bottom. Someone can scroll through. They can look at this report. You can do a report on every single community served that you want to. Um, I also have this blurb here. So click here to view an updated area report summarizing recent real estate activity in Joppa. If you need clarification on any of the figures, would like to have these updated reports emailed to you each month, or wish to take additional steps toward property ownership, you know, please let me know. I'm happy to help. And it is a hyperlink. They can click through and again, easily access my report. Um, I've done that. I'm starting to go through. You can see I do have a lot of communities in here. I'm starting to go through and I'm literally just copying this particular verbiage um, for this because it is on your website. You would have to access in touch. So I've just go into in touch. Um, yours will take you right in. Mine always makes me me toggle. Um, you would click on website and edit site, because I do want to edit my website. I want to add this information to it. Um, and this is really where you can determine where you want to add this information. If I just want to put it into a community, um, I can look through all of my communities served. Now I do have to input that information first, um, but maybe I want to add one for Aberdeen. I can just click on that. I just chose it because it was the first one. 
Um, you can see I already have one there, so probably a really bad, um, a really bad example. Um, but maybe we'll try Abingdon. Um, so here I don't have anything, nada, nothing. I have a photo and not even a good photo. And so I'm just gonna paste that verbiage in here. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be bolded if you don't want it bolded. I tend to make everything really large on my page just because I can't ever see anything. Um, and for this purpose, because it's already linked, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button here to remove that link because remember that's for Joppa and now I'm in Abingdon. So I'm just gonna take this information, I'm gonna update that to say Abingdon and then I need to go to Prospect Square. Um, I need to find my area report and I wanna find that report and the preview and share. And again, I don't wanna go through all of these 25, 26 pages. So I'm just gonna find I'm going to look for Abingdon's county. So that particular county is um, Mid-Atlantic, Hartford County, Maryland. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and search. And it's going to pop right up to the top. I'm going to take this link and I'm going to copy it. Um, once I have that copied, I'm able to go back to my market leader, which is my InTouch. Click here to view an updated area report. I like to give people a long area to click on um, because I don't know who this is going to reach. I don't know if it's going to be really small on their screen. I don't want them to get agitated. I want it to be very easy and easily accessible. Um, so I'm just going to highlight the words that I want to link so they're already there for me. I'm going to click on the hyperlink button, insert to edit link. I'm just going to paste in that URL and you guys know what I'm going to say next. I want that target to open in a new window. I don't want them to leave my website entirely because they might forget to come back. Um, so I'm just going to open that in a new window and hit OK. Now I can see it's blue. It's underlined. It is linked. I can't click on it here because I'm still in the edit view, um, but I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit save. Um, that's going to automatically be live on my site. Um, so let's clean up a little bit of the stuff on the top. So now I can go to website. I can go and view my site immediately. Um, any update that I've made should be automatic. So I'm going to go find that local community on my website. I'm going to click on Abington. I'm going to see here's my photo that I really need to update. And then here is, you know, Click here to view an updated area report, and it's got that information. I don't think anyone cares if you have the same verbiage on every single community. If you're not comfortable with that, you can make them all a, a little bit different. Um, you know, you can take the information directly from Prospect Square. You can regurgitate that on your website if you want. Um, but now I have a little more information. When you're clicking on Abington, you're getting a photo. You're getting some information and yours, unlike mine, so I'll show you um, because she's here and I can see her photo, so I'm gonna pick on her. Um, when we scroll on Sandy's, I know she's done a lot of work on hers as well, so she's really been adding all of her communities. Um, so we can click through and you can see she has a little bit of information here, but really she's got this. This is gonna pull through your IDX. It's gonna pull those listings. I can click right through. I can see single family homes for sale. I can look um, and the more I click on the properties, the more it's going to make me register. Um, when I register on Sandy's page, she's got my information. I'm in her um, site. So you can see she's got a little bit more information here. Um, when I go to Bel Air, um, click here to get your Bel Air area report. See, I knew she had one on here. Um, so search Bel Air and nearby areas. I can click through and now I've got her area report. Um, so that's pretty cool. I can go through. I can look at that. I can view all of the statistics. In addition to this, um, with these Prospect Square reports, if you are a video agent, um, now, you don't have to be the person that's on camera. I don't like to be on camera, whether it's in a class or in general. Um, I'm working on recording myself to desensitize myself to that. 
I think we, we all have to do that in a sense, um, but I can go right down to the local park. Um, maybe for this particular in Bel Air, maybe I'm out on Main Street and, you know, it's it's maybe it's a beautiful day, not like today, uh, but maybe it's a beautiful day. And I'm just kind of showing the cars going back and forth and I'm letting people know, hey, you know what? I'm here. It's a beautiful day. I'm in downtown Bel Air standing on Main Street. And did you know that right now um, in the past month uh, for January that the days on the market in the Bel Air area has gone down almost 35 percent? We're in an average of 23 days on the market and your average sales price has gone up. 15 over 15 percent um so what that means for you if you're if you're considering listing your house right now is a great time to do it uh you don't have a lot of competition on the market your days on the market has gone down so you're not sitting with your house on the market for a long time i know with covid that's that's a, a genuine concern for a lot of folks um and your sales price has gone up and guess what the interest rates are still low. It's a great time for buyers to come in. It's affordable for people to buy houses. There are new programs out there. Did you know you can buy a house without a down payment? I can tell you that you can do that because I've done it myself. Um, you know, telling people a little bit. So now I've given, I've captured sellers. Now I'm starting to capture buyers. You know, now is a great time. It's a low interest rate. So you can see that the, the prices of the homes have gone up. It's a great time. You want to buy before they go up anymore. What what if, what if they go up more? What if they go up 20% or 30%? We, we don't know what the market's going to do. And I don't want to scare people, but letting them know whether you're a buyer or a seller, now is a great time. To, of course, it's always a great time to buy a house. I'm a real estate agent. But I'm showing you statistical data that I am an I am a market expert. So I'm giving you this information in a video. I don't have to be in the video. I can just be showing Main Street. I could be maybe I'm in downtown Frederick and I'm, I'm talking about Frederick or I'm talking about Westminster or Towson. Any any place Cecil County, maybe I'm in Elkton, um, any place that you are and go in and get these reports and give that information in your video and then say if you're interested in receiving some of these stats that I just gave to you, I can send that to you in a hard copy. Um, just, just let me know in the comments. You can, you know, send me a private message with your email. I can set you up on an automatic, you know, to get these automatically each month. Um, when it's when it's updates for me, it'll it'll automatically come to you because now people are feeling special. They feel like you're setting them up for this automatic thing. Like when you get it they get it like oh like the agent got it and i'm special because i'm getting it when the agent's getting it but they have to give you their email address and once you have their email address you can put them into the crm you can market to them you can set them up on drip marketing of course i don't want to spam them um so maybe i set them up on a prospect square report and maybe i set them up on my monthly newsletter in in touch or a holiday campaign or a buyer campaign um, so completely up to you, but that's just an out of the box way that you can use some of this information. Um, I did have an agent that was a little more creative than me. Um, you know, we were sitting down trying to think of something and we said, you know, she does a trivia. Um, you know, uh, how much, how many days, you know, what do you think are the average days on the market in January for Bel Air? You know, what do you think the average sales price has gone? Or what percentage do you think it's gone up? You know, what do you think the, what do you think these are? What do you think the average sold price is in Bel Air right now or Towson or, you know, Westminster, wherever it is that you're selling? What do you think that is? But wait, there's more. Um, so I love how all of our tools kind of combine together. Um, there's one other thing that you can do if you want to put just this information out, or I should say just this row here of information out on your website, but you don't do Canva, you don't want to spend a lot of time with all of this information, um, you can go through. And what we can do now is we can also access BrandServe. So that's one other option that we have to take this prospect square information and push it out. And pretty soon you're going to start seeing these coming out on your office pages. So you can always feel free to share from an office page. But if you're like me, 
I want my marketing to come from me. I want to look real savvy. Um, so I'm going to take you through the shortcut. I'm not even going to go through the whole process of going through social media and post. I'm going to cheat a little bit because time is money. And I'm going to type in market update in the search bar and hit enter. Um, when I do that, I'm going to have options. Um, so I have here where it can add a photo. If I have a photo of that area, I can do a white background. I can do a blue background. I'm just going to choose the blue background for the sake of it. Um, so here I don't have any additional information. I don't really need to worry about the customizations. It's going to give that to me when I jump into it. Um, but this is what it's going to look like. It's going to give me something that I can push out there in Caldwell Banker Blue to let people know this information. Um, if I want something in addition to sharing the actual report, um, I can go through. So let's see, we had um, this report here that we had was for Bel Air. OK, so we'll go with Bel Air since that's the one we have pulled up. And maybe I want to call this my my Bel Air market update. Um, I'm a little um, more OCD with things, so I'm just going to say Dan 2021 so that I know if I have it saved on my computer what this one is. Um, so the region name would be Bel Air, Maryland, um, month and range. So this is going to be for January and it's going to be all residential types. Um, so this is really where I get to determine um, I have to have at least three. Um, do I want to share the average days on the market, the average sales price, the median sales price, you know, properties for sale? What did they sell for? I can choose all of these if I want. I can choose up to three. The last two are not required. They don't have that little asterisk, um, but I can go through and I can get this information. So average days on the market. Um, average days on the market is 23. Um, so I'm just gonna go in here and type in 23. Um, average sales price. So basically we're gonna look at this. We have an average, basically the average sold price. Um, so average sold price here. Or if you want to do average sales price in listings, um, you can do that. Um, so you're just going to be consistent with it every time that you do it and you can push that out. Um, what is the median sales price? Um, the median sales price is 370. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Uh, properties for sale. So how many listings are there? There's 75 and there's 80 that are sold. So 75 properties for sale and 80 that are sold. Um, my DBA is always going to be CBR for Coldwell Banker Realty. Um, because I'm a Maryland licensed agent, I do have to have Coldwell Banker Realty. Every time I use it on marketing, I can't do CB, CBR, Coldwell Banker. I have to have Coldwell Banker Realty. And I need a disclaimer. So again, I'm going to cheat. I don't have time to think about this. <clears throat> I have houses to sell. I'm just going to go down and I'm going to take the first two sentences because it's not going to give me a lot of room. Um, it's going to let them know that this property information herein is derived from various sources that may include but not be limited to county records, multiple list system. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Um, and of course, we always have to tell people that they have to per personally verify things because you know people are so happy. Um, but there's nothing really here for them to come back at you for. You're giving them information. Um, it's coming from the MLS. We're just letting them know, you know, it's not coming from me. It is coming from the MLS. Um, and we can generate a proof. Um, you guys will hear me say this every time that I talk about brand serve. Please, please, please do not save your proof. Um, the reason being is um, it's pink and that doesn't. Oh, that was the wrong thing that I clicked on. Shame on me for not paying attention. Um, so we'll get rid of that one because um, you can see I already had something in my cart, um, but I'm going to go ahead and view that proof and it's going to pop up and it's going to be pink. I don't want anything coming out that looks like this. It, it does not look good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just verify that that is the information that I imported into the system um, that I typed in myself. I'm going to go ahead and check the radio button and add this to my cart. 
Um, and it is free. It's not going to cost me any money at all. And I'm just going to place my order. Um, my wallet likes when I play with BrandServe because I feel like I'm ordering things, but I'm not spending any money. Um, BrandServe has recently had an update and it is a good update and it does come directly from agent feedback. Um, they talked about this in a, in a webinar I was in last week. You can now distribute your file, um, get your file right now, save it to your computer, go in, schedule it to come out at a different time on Facebook. Maybe I just want to publish it right now. I can do that. I'm just going to hit publish to social. There will be some additional ones coming soon. Right now we do have Facebook, so I'm going to click on that Facebook block. I'm going to go ahead and put in my Facebook password. Hopefully that I remember it. Yes, I did, so that's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue as myself. And here you'll see I'm posting as me. Um, so I believe if I'm not, oh, no, nope, it's not going to let me change it. Um, so this is something, you know, you can post on your personal. I'll have to go back and look at this to see if I did something wrong. Um, I might want to toggle that so that I can put that on my professional page. Um, so let's see. Let's see this together because this is brand new. Um, so maybe I want to edit those. Aha, yes, edit settings. I forgot that was there. Um, and I can go through and I can check off that I want that to come out on my business page. Um, definitely don't want to select all, but on my business page and I can hit next. Do I want them to get all of this? You know, if you turn them off, it might not work properly. I don't really care. Sure, that's fine. It gives them permission basically to post, you know, to help me post it. Um, so I've linked my brand serve to my Facebook. It's going to come out. I can say, you know, check this out. I can say whatever it is I want to say. I don't have to say anything at all. Um, but see, you know, see what's happening. In the, in the Bel Air real estate market. Um, you know, maybe I want to say contact me for details. You know, let me know how I can help you. Um, and I can schedule this to post at a future time. So maybe I want this to come out later today. Um, I can have this come out and it is military time. Um, so maybe I want it to come out later. I can preview it. This is what it's going to look like when it comes out and I can just go ahead and publish. Um, and it'll post to Facebook at that time. Um, so just know that you have that option in there as well. Um, you can take your prospect square reports put them in a brand serve, have something fancy that comes out on your behalf. Again, we will be posting them to the office pages as well um, so that you'll be able to share from there if you would like to, um, but just an additional way to use Prospect Square. So I do like that all the tools, you can incorporate them together. You can take your Prospect Square report. You can share it on your InTouch agent website. Um, you know, you can incorporate it um, through the iframes in your Moxie presentation if you want to just show that you have all of the knowledge about this specific area. You can use the brand serve asset to push that out on social media. And of course, it just gives us that extra social media, uh, that extra Facebook boost. Um, and the reason that they did this in brand serve um, because people were going into Prospect Square and saying, well, how do I share this? How do I share this in Instagram? It doesn't allow me. It needs a photo. Um, so I can take this information, save this. I can upload this to Instagram. Um, I always cheat the system. I save it on my computer. I send it via messenger on my phone. I open it on my phone, save it on my phone, because again, we can only post on Instagram via our phones. Um, and that's a way that you can push that out there and let people know, hey, you know, contact me if you would like more information. I am your area expert. Um, so just some different things that you're able to do with Prospect Square, um, different things, you know, ways of pushing it out there. And, and really it's to let people know you are the area expert. You know everything there is to know about the areas that you serve. What you don't know, you can easily access. Um, you can get that information. You can send it to them. You are their real estate 
resource. There's no need for them to call anyone else when they have you. Um, so does anybody have any any questions? Um, yeah, okay. I think I remember now. So if we're copying the link from Prospect Square, putting it into our web page or whatever, it automatically updates to the most current report. Yes, those are live links um, and that's why you will only see the preview and share for a quarterly report or an area report because they are the only ones that have live links. Um, so that will automatically update. I think now it's the fifth of every month. It'll update with the previous month or the previous quarter. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's my other favorite part because I'm not going to go in every month and fix this. <laughs> Like, I'm just going to set it. I'm going to let it do its job. I'm going to know that it's there, um, you know, but again, it gives me that opportunity to, you know, think outside of the box a little bit because I've had agents that say, you know, I want to do a short video, but I don't know what to say. Give some data, give some, you know, hey, did you know right now in, in Towson days on the market has gone down, the price has gone up. Here's some data that I'm giving you. By the way, if you want a, like a hard copy, like I'll post the report later today. Come back to my page at around like three o'clock and I'll, I'll post that. Um, or maybe, you know, you do the video and then, you know, in the video, because you can always go back, um, you know, and type type some things in. If you, if you take the video and post it and you're able to type in, you can put the link right there in the post. Here's the link for the information I'm giving to you in the video. Um, so, you know, I'm giving you kind of a source. There's that disclaimer. It tells you where it's coming from. Um, but just some out of the out of the box ways. Again, I'm trying to put them all on all of my um, all of my community served. Um, but yeah, just some different things that you I love the brand serve tile. So just different different ways of sharing information. Cool. Well, that was fun. Brenda, are you there? <laughs> She's so quiet. Her face is there. You're muted if you're trying to speak. And if not, that's okay too. Um, but yeah, go in and play with it. Have some fun with it. If you guys want to set me up on a, on a report, have fun. Do that too. So. I learned lots of little tidbits today. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully not too overwhelming though. There's so much to do. I always say it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, no, you know, I got some of it set up, but you know, the thing with adding the office number and I'm going to go in and add the other social media links to the profile and prospect square. Yeah, so this makes it look really robust. And again, I'm not one of those people. If you send me to your, your company page, I'm okay with that because that's the company you work for. Like right. maybe that's why you work for them because they have great social media and you don't have to do it. <laughs> so definitely. Um, all right, ladies. Well, I'm off to my next class and teaching a sales pro, an in touch class. Um, so that'll that's always one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, not all classed out today. <laughs> I think I am too. Um, so I'm glad that in touch is the last one because that is one of my that's one of my favorites. Cool. So All you right. ladies have a great day. Be safe um, and enjoy the the snow or, or the ice, whichever one you're getting. So. Just the view. Yes, just the view. All <laughs> right. See you guys have later. Bye. Bye.